So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. No, a topic for now. Talk. That sharpness. What's your tone, Witcher? Remember you owe me. Butchered some of my better men. We wish to come to an agreement, do we not? Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. <sighs> what if I refuse, because I just don't want to? Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. You try to search for them? Sent men out right away. But they're not suited to it. It's one thing to rip up floorboards in search of a peasant's last sack of grain. Finding a living person, they just don't know how. Besides, Velen's naught but swamps and marshy woodland. Plenty of hard to find nooks. If you're looking to hide someone, this is the place. Maybe they were kidnapped. Got any enemies? None worth mentioning. Worthless little pricks and angry peasants is all. None would dare raise a finger against my family. Any you might have, I've been eating dirt long since. Anything unusual happen before they disappeared? They act differently, do anything strange? Unusual? No. Well, not long ago, peasants came to complain that a beast had ravaged a woman by the well. Devoured another last before her. Common occurrences in Velen. And my women, Anna, quiet as a mouse as ever, and Tamara, occupied with her things, nothing unusual. This place must be hard to be the only two women here. This place? What do you mean? They wanted for nothing here. Pheasant for dinner? Not a problem. Blue ribbons from Toussaint? Say the word. Had your men in mind. Their company. Sure your wife and daughter weren't being harassed? My men are a horde of horsons, but they know their place. One of them so much as looked at Anna or Tamara crosswise, I'd cut him down like a dog. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. 
Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? You <laughs> <laughs> see it there? <laughs> What's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. D damn it! Jammed again. Our bedchamber. Tamara's room is there. Try now not to make a mess. For their return, I want everything to be as they left it. Incense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise. Sandalwood. And something else. Saffron. You, white one, look like you got soused last night, too. Plowing hangover. Well, bring out the gimp. Think the gimp's sleeping? Well, guess you'll just have to go wake him up now, won't you? So, the eternal fires made it to Velen. Could use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. Hmm. <laughs> Look happy enough.
What's this? Huh. Gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. It's interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Deep nicks. Hit with a heavy object. Rest of the candlestick, and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle. From Toussaint. Yeah, Ervalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Plowing hangover. Breaks off. Could find mm, something else. Spruce though. wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman. Protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. Could use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? Done poking around. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those bastards if they'd seen anything, heard anything. Nothing! Not a one of them! Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lushes, one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. Was it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coot lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Ought to have a chat with this Pella. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumour has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and ploughs his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies, just want to ask about the amulet. Going hangover. <laughs> 